Hello friends, this is Mike with GP Transco. This is a 2014 Wabash Dura plate. Uh, the trailer is for sale right now. Uh, the trailer number is 1158. And we're gonna do like a walk around video of the trailer. We're gonna go around. I'll show you all the bad things. And we're gonna go underneath and inside the trailer. So the trailer number as you see is number 1158. The VIN number is over here. You can pause the video if you want to check the VIN number. It's a one owner. We own the trailer since new. We buy all trailers and uh, we just sell it because it says kind of old. It's one of the oldest trailers we have. Uh, as you see, top corner was damaged at some point, but it's been it's been fixed and properly sealed. Um, and this is how it looks from the front. It's 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 kind of dirty. We should clean it a little bit better. This is how it looks from the front. You see we had decals over here and we could use more uh, we could use more acid when we wash the trailer. Anyway, see the, the front bottom rivets have been sealed because uh, when you go through the truck wash uh, it they that sometimes they uh, they leak water. Uh, and we hold a lot of paper, so we always seal the, the bottom plates Over here the corner. This is how it looks This is the side of the trailer So let's go from the top I'm gonna try to keep this video less than 10 minutes Because otherwise uh, the video will cut off and I will have to uh, uh, I will have to render the video on the software, which I don't want to do. <coughs> this is the bottom, uh, the bottom rail. No issues here. No, no patches. And here's a side skirt. the wheels second wheel tires tires are pretty good here's the other set of the tires this trailer has a brand new air tank for the auto inflate system this is the slider let's go from the back issues in the back and here's the other side of the trailer so you're gonna go through the top rail right now and the bottom the bottom plate now it's got a few scratches it's not the newest trailer and the wheels Tires look like this. And the other side. A little bit of the slider. Let's go underneath. So 
here's the, the air tank it's got new brake pads in front I don't know if you can see it from the video I'll try to zoom it in it's got new brake pads here new brake pads there that allows the mount here are the brake pads from the back and the other side Chucks. I'll try not to go from the from the front. Here's the box for the auto inflate system. Ah, yes. And there's no damage cross members or anything like that. We don't sell trailers like that. Everything is as it should be. Uh, I'll show the kingpin. And we're gonna jump in, inside the trailer. This is the, the only legs. Pin. Let's jump inside. Oh, geez, that was tripped. Here are the inside doors. And then so the trailer. I believe it's got only one patch over here. I'll, I'll just go inside. All right. So here. Oh, there's another patch over here. It's got two patches like that. Let's go through the roof. So here's the roof. I have one minute left on the video, so here's a little dent, but uh, and the light is coming from the vents. Here's the roof, and this is the front where it was fixed. So you can see a little dent over here, but it, this was already sealed. This is the front wall. And I don't see any other holes or anything like that, or any other patches. This is just the tape. I'm gonna put just the tape over here, I don't know why. Just the paper tape. Vans. And here's the floor. We put some of the spots on the floor. Here's the flooring. Here are two more spots, three more spots. Here's another spot that was patched. Alright, uh, that's it for this video.